Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Almost at 21k subs, guys. Keep up the good work. Might be able to hit that today. Check out all my betting links in the description below. Really good promos, especially with DraftKings. Get up to 1500 in bonus bets. If your first bet doesn't hit, you got free Sam game parlays. All kinds of good stuff on DraftKings. Go ahead and take advantage, especially on this big slate today as we head into the weekend. 15 matchups, starting with the Atlanta Braves versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Pirates plus 140 with the over-under at 9.5. Braves coming into this matchup 29-18. and 18. The Pirates 23-28. and 28. Pitching for the Braves is Allen Wanans with an ERA of 10.80. Pitching for the Pirates is Bailey Falter with an ERA of 3.53. Wanans, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up six runs at two strikeouts. That's been his only start so far this season. Falter, uh, he's coming off a zero run game. Atlanta on a two game winning streak, coming off back to back Cubs wins. Pirates coming off back-to-back uh, -back Giants losses. Braves 12 and 3 against the Pirates here. You know, they've been good head-to-head. -head. Uh, Wanans, he just looked very bad in his debut, giving up six runs here. I don't know. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if I'm in love with the Braves today, with Wanans on the mound here. You now Pirates coming off a tough series against the Giants. Haven't been playing horrible though. I think I'll take a shot of the Pirates plus one and a half at home today. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Detroit Tigers. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Detroit plus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Toronto coming into this matchup 23 and 26. Detroit 23 and 27. Pitching for Toronto is Alec Manoa with an ERA of 3.0. Pitching for Detroit is Matt Manning with an ERA of 4.88. Manoa, his last start, he's coming off back-to-back zero-run games here. Oh, you know, had that bad start in, in his debut, but he looked pretty good here. Manning coming off a four-run game. He's given up 11 runs and three starts here. So Manning gives up some runs. Toronto beating Detroit yesterday 9-1. to They dominated Detroit. Detroit on a five-game losing streak. Bad stretch for Detroit here. Toronto 7-2 on the road against Detroit where they've been very good. Manoa hot right now off those two starts. I gotta take the Blue Jays on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners with the Washington Nationals. Seattle opening up as road favorites at minus 150. Washington plus 130 with the over-under at 7.5. Seattle coming into this matchup 27-24. The Nationals 21 and 27. Pitching for Seattle is George Kirby with an ERA at 3.67. Pitching for the Nationals is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA at 3.30. Kirby, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up five runs and three strikeouts. Gore, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs and three strikeouts. Seattle coming off back to back Yankees losses. Washington, they're coming off back-to-back -back Minnesota losses here. Um, two and eight in their last ten. You know, Washington, they have not really played well. Seattle, just three and eight on the road against Washington. They've had their road struggles against Washington here. You know, Kirby giving up nine runs and two starts here. It hasn't been that great on the mound. Um, I don't know. Not in love with Seattle here. But there's you know, been bad against Washington. I think Washington's a decent dog today, and uh, I'll take Washington plus one and a half at home today. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Royals versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Royals opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Rays plus 110 with the over-under at 8. Royals coming into this matchup 32 and 19. The Rays 25 and 26. Pitching for the Royals is Seth Lugo with an ERA of 1.93. Pitching for the Rays is Sean Armstrong with an ERA of 4.03. Lugo, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had 10 strikeouts. 
Armstrong, his last start, he pitched one inning, up one run, had two strikeouts. He's only pitching like one to two innings here, so, you know, he's pretty solid in those innings, but doesn't really pitch much more than that. So we'll see how much he pitches today. Royals, uh, they're hot right now. They're on a six-game winning streak, coming off a Detroit and Oakland sweep. Tampa on a four-game losing streak after that bad Boston series. Um, Royals, five and... You know, they are just 5-13 and 13 against Tampa. It's a bad head head-to-head here, but uh, yeah, Tampa coming off a bad series. Royals playing hot right now. Going to ride the hot team, and uh, I'll take the Royals on the road. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus Cincinnati Reds. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Reds plus 130 with the over-under at 10. Dodgers coming into the matchup 33-19. and 19. The Reds 20-30. and 30. Pitching for the Dodgers is James Paxton with an ERA of 2.84. Pitching for the Reds is Graham Ashcraft with an ERA of 4.25. Paxton, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Ashcraft, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Dodgers on a two game losing streak, coming off back to back Arizona losses. Reds coming off back-to-back -back Padres losses. You know, they they just played the Dodgers in the series before, losing one of four games. Um, Dodgers are 14-5 and five against Cincinnati here. Paxton's been solid on the mound. Ashcraft, three straight games. He's given up three runs in each. Um, yeah, Dodgers dominated that series. A couple bad losses in the Arizona series. I think Dodgers bounce back today. I'll take the Dodgers on the road. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Brewers plus 120 with the over-under at 9.5. Brewers coming into this matchup 28 and 31, 28 and 21. Boston 26 and 24. Pitching for the Brewers is Bryce Wilson with an ERA of 2.79. Pitching for Boston is Cutter Crawford with an ERA of 2.17. Wilson, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Crawford, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Uh, Brewers coming off a Miami loss. Boston, on a little four-game winning streak, coming off a nice Tampa Bay series. Uh, the Brewers are eight and four against Boston, so they've been good head-to-head. -head. Five and one on the road against Boston here. I really think they're good dogs today. I haven't played well these last couple games, but uh, I think they're a good dog, and uh, I'll take Brewers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the New York Mets. Mets opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Giants plus 125 with the over-under at seven and a half. Giants coming into this matchup 25 and 26. The Mets 21 and 28. Pitching for the Giants is Kyle Harrison with an ERA of 3.60. Pitching for the Mets is Christian Scott with an ERA of 4.32. Harrison, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Scott, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, the Giants, on a two-game winning streak. They're actually playing pretty well right now. They're 6-1 and one in their last seven. Uh, the Mets, 2-8 and eight in their last 10, getting swept by the Guardians here. Uh, they are not playing well. I really don't like them as a favorite. Scott hasn't been good on the mound. I think Giants are good dogs today. I'll take a shot with the Giants, plus 1.5 on the road. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Rangers plus 130 with the over-under at 9. Rangers coming into this matchup 24 and 27. Wins 26 and 23. Pitching for the Rangers is Jose Urena with an ERA of 3.29. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 4.40. Urena, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run at three strikeouts. Ober, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up five runs, four strikeouts. The Rangers on a four-game losing streak. Coming off the three straight Phillies losses. 
Minnesota on a two game winning streak, you know, ending their big losing streak they were on. Uh, Rangers 0 6 on the road, where they've been pretty bad. Um, tough series. I mean, both teams not playing that great. Um, yeah, Rangers just 2 and 8 in their last 10. Minnesota 3 and 7 in their last 10. Ah, not a game I really want to bet on, honestly, with both teams playing poorly here. Um, I think I'd rather take a shot with the underdog here. This is an underdog game for me, and uh, I'll take a shot with the Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus Chicago White Sox. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 260. White Sox plus 210 with the over-under at 7.5. Baltimore coming into this matchup 30 and 18. The White Sox 15 and 36. Pitching for Baltimore is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 2.56. Pitching for the White Sox is Chris Flexen with an ERA of 5.48. Burns, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run at 11 strikeouts. Flexen, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up seven runs at four strikeouts. Um, he's given up 11 runs and three starts here. Uh, Baltimore beating the White Sox yesterday, eight to six. Uh, they are 6-2 and two on the road against the White Sox here. Burns coming off two very good starts on the mound here. And, uh, yeah, going to roll with the Orioles on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cubs opening up the road favorites at minus 150. Cardinals plus 120 with the over-under at 7.5. Cubs coming into this matchup 27-24. and 24. The Cardinals 23-26. and 26. Pitching for the Cubs is Shota Imanaga with an ERA of 0.84. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas with an ERA of 5.77. Imanaga, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs at seven strikeouts, back-to-back -back zero run games. Imanaga has been great on the mound this season for the Mets. Um, Mikolas coming off a one run game. Given up 10 runs and three starts. Uh, Cubs. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the Cubs. They're on a two-game losing streak. Tough Brave series. St. Louis, you know, on a three-game winning streak. Coming off a three-game Baltimore sweep here. Um, Cubs are six and one against St. Louis, so they've been very good head-to-head -head here. Um, yeah, I really like Imanaga on the mound. I mean, he's been really great. We're gonna see if he has another great game on the mound today. And that. I think I gotta lean with the Cubs on the road with him on the mound. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Colorado Rockies. Phillies opening up as road favorites at minus 220. The Rockies plus 180 with the over under at 11. Phillies coming into this matchup 37 and 14. Rockies 16 and 33. Pitching for the Phillies is Christopher Sanchez with an ERA at 3.12. Pitching for the Rockies is Ty Blatch with an ERA of 5.14. Sanchez, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Blatch, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, the Phillies, nine and one in their last ten. Sweeping the Rangers, sweeping the Nationals. I mean, man, they're hot. Rockies. Coming off a uh, you know, tough Oakland series. Uh, Phillies 8-1 and one against Colorado here. So they've been very good head-to-head. 6-1 -head. on the road. Sanchez been okay on the mound. Uh, Blash giving up 11 runs and 3 starts. It's going to be tough to do. It's going to be tough if you're doing that against the Phillies here. And um, yeah, I got to roll with the Phillies on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Los Angeles Angels. Both teams in a pick'em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Guardians coming into this matchup 33-17. and 17. The Angels 20-30. and 30. Pitching for the Guardians is Logan Allen with an ERA of 4.91. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 4.76. Allen, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs. At seven strikeouts. Sandoval, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run 
had five strikeouts. Cleveland, uh, not in one of their last 10. They're playing great right now. They're on a six game winning streak, sweeping the Mets, sweeping the Twins. Angels coming off a nice Houston series. Um, yeah, Allen, two back to back zero run games here. He's been very solid these last two outings. And um, yeah, in a pick and scenario, I'm going to take the hot team here and I'm going to take the Guardians on the road. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Oakland Athletics. Houston opening up as road favorites at minus 180. Oakland plus 140 with the over under at 8.5. Houston coming in on this matchup 22 and 28. Oakland 21 and 31. Pitching for the Astros is Justin Verlander with an ERA at 3.97. Pitching for Oakland is Ross Stripling with an ERA at 5.19. Verlander, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs, three strikeouts. Stripling, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs, had two strikeouts. Houston coming off an Angels loss. Oakland coming off a Colorado win. They're just 2-8 in their last 10 right now. Houston is 5-0 against Oakland. 6-1 on the road against Oakland here. Um, both pitchers have been giving up some runs. Uh, Oakland's just, they've been a mess here. And uh, Astros have been playing, you know, they've been playing okay. I'm not sure I love Oakland here. Um, I'll take a shot with the Astros on the road. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Marlins plus 150 with the over under at 7.5. Marlins coming into this matchup 17 and 34. Arizona 24 and 26. Pitching for the Marlins is Braxton Garrett with an ERA of 10.24. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 3.02. Garrett, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, he's coming off, let's see, yeah, he's given up 11 runs in his only two starts this season. Garrett, he's coming off a three run game. Um, Miami coming off a Milwaukee win. Arizona coming off back-to-back -back Dodgers wins. Miami just 7-13 and 13 on the road against Arizona here. Do not like Garrett on the mound. He's been getting lit up this season. I'll take Arizona at home. And last matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the San Diego Padres. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Padres plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Yankees coming in on the matchup 35 and 17. Padres 27 and 26. Pitching for the Yankees is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 2.95. Pitching for the Padres is Yu Darvish with an ERA of 2.08. Rodon, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Darvish, he's coming off three straight zero run games here. He's been great um, this season. Yankees coming off back-to-back -back Seattle wins. Padres coming off back-to-back -back Reds wins. Yeah, I'm really loving Darvish on the mound here. I think they're great dogs today at home. I'll take a shot at the Padres plus one and a half at home today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. You guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.